So, I, you know, I thought that it brought an interesting place um, to well, take us to an interesting place, which is working with your friends. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Because you, I mean, you work with friends with other artists that was friends. Yeah, I work with friends all the time. I mean, the only way I pretty much work is with friends. I don't really work with nobody. I don't really rock with or know like that, really, honestly. So, um, I can't speak on working with people who not friends. Unless we talk you know, about like a oh I I could talk my, my experience working with friends is it's sometimes when you when you want to do something with one of your homegirls yeah and you say yo business got a business idea we should be doing this mm-hmm. let's do this yeah and the excitement is there they're like yeah girl we could da 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 and then when you go actually when it's time to work with them yeah you like um. But I thought you was going to do A, B, C, D. You know what I mean? Huh? And they don't do it. Right. Or, yo, um, how you show up late? Or there's an entitlement sometimes of, oh, well, you shouldn't really have certain type of, you know what I mean, expectations for me. Or you should not really um, put, you shouldn't treat me a certain way because I'm your friend. Mm-hmm. So if you know I have to go pick up my son from daycare, even though I told you I was gonna make it around at three, you should just be like, "It's cool, boo," because you're my friend. I know you. You sometimes you can't get back until five. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like the accountability becomes removed. The so much becomes removed, and it becomes a place of you're my friend. Yeah. So it can be really challenging compared to if you met somebody. Like for example. Uh-huh. For the interns for gholy.com. Everybody go to (laughs) gholy.com. At gholy.com, the interns, the way they speak to you is about business. Yeah. It's about hip hop. Yep. It's about their work. Yep. It's about things getting edited. It's about getting approval for uh, actual things. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yep. They don't be like, oh... You know I was playing basketball on Sunday, yeah. so that's why I ain't do nothing Sunday. But I I got something on Thursday for you. Right. You know what I mean? But has it all been positive with you working with friends? The friendships ain't been kept sometimes, but I don't think it had nothing to do with business. You know what I mean? So yeah, I mean my experience working with friends, I'm I'm. I'm fine. It's I. I'm good having those. Well, real quick, you see what I mean? Like the difference, like when you with the interns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good having those conversations, though. I'm really good having those conversations with my friends, where we just got to get something established and something discussed. Because how I come up, you, you I'm might a, fight. I'm gonna, call, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you BS on that. Let's go. I'm gonna call you on BS. On Let's that. go. I've seen you. Because we're talking about it as it pertains to business, not right. personal, but go ahead. I've seen you. I'm only talking about business. Okay. Talk to friends and say, yo, we should do ABC. And you're not necessarily here for them. Back about it. I've, hear, I've heard you tell me about friends who was like, yo, I'm going to take this position and be in charge of this. And then they didn't do it for whatever reason. And everybody was like, why are they not doing it? Mm. Where maybe they had a lot of ideas, but they didn't necessarily carry it out. And that affected the rest of the group. Yeah. And the friendship continued. But I'm saying, would it, would it have been different if you would have hired somebody? Or if you would have been meeting someone solely on that? And then y'all work together and it'll be like, yo, this is, I got this expectation. You got this expectation and this paid. It probably would have, but that's not what we was talking about. It probably would have turned out different, but that's not what we was talking about. We was talking about me getting straight to business. As far as well, that's business- what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fact that when you do stuff with your friends, sometimes your friends treat it like a game. Oh, yeah, yeah, And don't treat it. And this is some of the stuff that sure. even, you know, we're talking about with Joe. Yeah, 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 Where it's like, they don't, you don't have to, and I'm not talking, talking about specifically more, more about yeah, yeah, situation, yeah. but just friends in general. You don't got to show up. Uh-huh. You don't got to actually do what you say you're going to do. Uh-huh. You don't have to do it in any type of timely manner. Yeah. And you could be wishy-washy about it, and we can still just talk about whatever shit we usually talk about. 
Right. And it's no big deal. Right. Compared to when you hire somebody specifically to do that job, your relationship becomes one of they actually are doing it and that's it. Yeah. And if they're not doing it, then you let them go and you replace them. Right. No, nah, I get that. I get that. Um. So we still talking about my personal experience, though. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, but I don't be like it. It's something about the business vibe that I don't really rock with, though. It like energetically, it should be throwing me off sometimes. Like it might be smoother with them because it's just boom boom. But I work with people who not. Rail, like Rail would do, like shoot a bunch of my videos. And with Rail, we talking, we laughing, we building. So I'm getting this a certain type of energy with him that when he taping me now it's translating on camera different than you know, a videographer A who just some dude that I, I, I that get, go to school I, and I, shit. I get what you're talking about the creative process and how it feels good creatively. Yeah. But I'm talking about solely on the business side. Well, I never made a bunch of money with my friends. It's though. not even about making a bunch of money. The person that I was talking about, where we were supposed to st- do parties together, mm. supposed to start a t-shirt company together and yeah. a catering company, none of yeah. those things happened. Yeah. They were always in the midst of us trying to work out the details and them never showing up to actually do their part of what they said they were going to do. Yeah. So I'm saying, for example, gholy.com, going back to that. Mm-hmm. If you were to hire two of your homeboys yeah. to do that, which I wouldn't know. Every day. Yeah. And the right and turn and turn in their work and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Would it still be going on for months and months and months where they would have been consistently turning in every single no, day? Never. This is what I'm the only thing I'm talking about. I'm not talking oh, okay. about how it feels work creatively. Uh, okay. I mean just the business side of yo, it's a business, so let's treat this like a business. Yeah. You show up, there's no excuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, I get that. And I don't know how easy it is to do that with your friends. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Um, you have to have a very specific friend that thinks the way you do, that's very ambitious. That's like, they're going to, you know, if you don't show, they're going to be on you. It's not going to be yeah. like, a, well, I, look, we didn't do shit. Did I right? try to treat my friends like I would a professional relationship until they get too demanding. Then I start acting like a friend again. What do you mean demanding? I mean, yo, re-editing the video four times that nobody paid me for in the first place. Then I'm a, then I'm a, I'm gonna act like a friend, and it's just gonna get done when it get done. Right. It's no, it's no longer professional. So you saying like even because professionally you would have to pay me now. I'm, this is so my fourth time editing this even video. Even on the other side of you doing the service for them. Yeah. The French there can be a certain type of. Friendship kind of not entitlement, but kind of it's a limit. It's a limit. It's a limit. You, my friend, so I could just kind of know yeah. who I'm not paying you and then ask for whatever, whatever, and keep asking. Yeah, I mean, you gotta know somebody your friend, but you gotta know when you getting this shit, this, this, this service done for the free ball. Yeah, and it ain't gonna go like that. Like, all right, homie, you're gonna have to, you know what I mean? You yeah. want it, it's you know how it is when you want to pay for. You want to express delivery, want an overnight delivery? Yeah, you got to pay it, a little $22. It, it's crazy because you want to work with your friends. Like, I remember when I was working on my film and I, and I told one of my friends, I was like, yo, I love what you do with fashion. I really want you, like, you know, the way you reference different piece, period pieces, whatever. Yeah. I want you to do the styling. We had a whole conversation, like an hour and a half, our first conversation about all these different pieces and parts of the film and and, and scenes. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, well, I'm going to send you some things. You send me back. They never responded back to me again mm. about that. Mm. I'm texting them like, hello. I'm calling them. Next time we talk, they talking about something else. Yeah. Girl, guess what I just seen on TV? As if you didn't just. Like you ain't, yeah. Yeah. And this is what sometimes friends will do. It's kind of weird. But if when I, but then when I went to go hire somebody that was a stylist, they was like, okay, listen, let me know all these specifics, and let me know dates, and let's talk about a deposit, and let's meet up, and da 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 da. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's straight to the point. 
Yeah. What else would it be? Ain't nobody talking about sneakers and who hit who. So, for sure. Yeah, and not just straight to the point, but they don't feel comfortable enough to take advantage of you. True. It depends on what line of work you in, though. Yeah. Because some lines of work, it's like people lazy no matter what. Yeah, that's true. Like, the weed man is always bullshitting. That's and 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 uh, not for real. The weed man is always bullshit. People who do, like I said, the videos, like studio engineers, like certain people, you know, like yeah. the whole profession just be unprofessional. That's fact. And you got to go through to you. Like when you hire contractors for your house and shit, you be like, yeah. Oh, this is terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Firing until you get the perfect one. Yeah. But I'm saying, if you think a contractor, go go ask your friend when they can come over to paint your house and see what happens. Exactly. Holy, holy, holy. I'm good just waking up. Uh. That's how I know I got one more chance to go and cash in and kick it up. Money trees, they throwing shade, just come and rick it up. Playing all day, the motherfucker, we make it, it feel up. Feel good, don't it? Aha, I feel good, don't it? Yeah, rent paid and the lights on paper tonight. It feel good, don't it? Uh.